Hello everyone, welcome to the Easy Engineering Classes Preparation Series. In today's lecture, we'll start with two questions on operating system topic which appeared in GATE 2016 paper. So today we'll start with the second question first and the question says in which one of the following page replacement algorithms it is possible for the page fault rate to increase even when the number of allocated frames increases and we are given four options that are names of replacement algorithms page replacement algorithms so if you are familiar with the concept of Belady's anomaly or stack algorithms this question is very easy and it is very easy to grab marks here because it is a clear cut answer or option D is a clear cut answer in this case first in first out page replacement algorithm is the one of the algorithms that suffers from Belady's anomaly and what is Belady's anomaly this phenomena that even if we increase the available frames then also it may happen that the page fault rate may increase instead of decreasing which is actually expected so algorithms like first in first out or FIFO algorithms are not stack algorithms what is a stack algorithm I have explained you in previous lecture of operating system in this preparation series only we uh, solved a proper complete question on what is a stack algorithm and uh, how is it different from a non-stack algorithm and what causes Belady's anomaly so you can refer there for complete explanation but here I'll only tell you that the two reasons or uh, why FIFO is suffering from such a phenomena is the cause is Belady's anomaly that is present that is written to you that is specified to you in the question and the cause is that FIFO is not a stack algorithm that is the reason of this phenomena this is some extra information that you must know because sometimes the question is twisted and you need to know the reason behind certain phenomena to answer the question and so it may be helpful to you in other questions but the answer to this question is first in first out algorithm now coming back to our first question the question states that consider an arbitrary set of cpu bound processes with unequal cpu burst lengths submitted at the same time to a computer system which one of the following process scheduling algorithm would minimize the average waiting time in the ready queue okay so the options are shortest remaining time first which is srtf algorithm round robin algorithm rr with time quantum less than the shortest cpu burst uniform random algorithm and highest priority first with priority proportional to the CPU burst length okay so whenever we talk in terms of scheduling algorithms or CPU scheduling algorithms the best algorithm is shortest job first algorithm and why it is the best because shortest job first or SJF gives you the minimum average waiting time okay so any algorithm that is giving you the minimum average waiting time is the best algorithm for CPU scheduling but here shortest job first is not mentioned but if you carefully notice that you are provided with the option of shortest remaining time first and shortest remaining time first that is SRTF is the preemptive version of shortest job first so what is the best option here to choose the shortest remaining time first algorithms because it would give you a minimum average waiting time now you would think that there are certain disadvantages to shortest remaining time first it can cause starvation but you have to be careful that here in the question it is mentioned that all the processes arrive at the same time or 
all the processes are submitted at the same time to the computer. What it means that when shortest remaining time first algorithm is chosen and all the processes are present at the same time or at time zero all the processes have arrived then this algorithm would behave as shortest job first because shortest remaining time first has a disadvantage of starvation but this disadvantage only occurs when the arrival times of different processes is different or when shorter processes keep arriving after the arrival of longer process but since here all the processes arrive at the same time therefore SRTF or shortest remaining time first algorithm becomes shortest job first because the process with the shortest burst time will be the one with the shortest remaining time okay you have to be uh, very thorough with your concepts of such algorithms then only you'll be able to quickly notice that why shortest remaining time first will behave like shortest job first here because shortest remaining time first if it has all the processes with it at arrival at time zero then the remaining time would be the burst time of all these processes so srtf would act like shortest job first and this would be the best algorithm to choose in such cases now sometimes you uh, think that since highest priority first with priority proportional to cpu burst length is also given as an option then why should i reject this option and why should i choose shortest remaining time option remaining time first option so in such cases if you are confused between any two choices you can take a very simple example and uh, find out that in that particular example which choice would be the best so if i take an example of three processes say p1 which has a burst time of 10 p2 burst time of 20 and p3 with a burst time of 30 so first you have to understand what does this statement mean highest priority first with priority proportional to the cpu burst length that means out of these three the process with the highest burst length would have the maximum priority then this process and then this process so in terms of priority p3 has the highest priority and p1 has the lowest priority okay now if we choose option d in what order they would be executed in the order of their priority that is p3 then p2 and then p1 but if we choose shortest remaining time first how would they be executed since all of them are present at time 0 the remaining time of p1 is 10 remaining time of p2 is 20 and the remaining time of p3 is 30 so the shortest out of them is p1 then p2 and then p3 so this would result in a lower average waiting time as compared to this case so you can safely choose option a here so that's all for today's lecture i hope you understood both these questions if you understood the questions please like this video share it with your friends and tell us in the comment section below how did you find it because your feedback is well valuable to us so thanks for watching stay tuned to our channel and keep watching the preparation series to get a thorough understanding of all the concepts of various computer science related subjects thank you